welcome to our exclusive preview of Warhammer the End Times Vermintide. Before we start the discussion, I wanted to offer a brief dis um, sort of discussion um, and introduction to the game. Um, the game is a four player co op um, with five playable classes, um, each with a unique abilities, playstyle, and personality. Um, what I'll start off with first is I'll just give you like kind of a look at the, the characters themselves. Um, so, first we have the Bright Wizard. Who kind of focuses mainly on range combat. Uh, she uses a staff, and a lot of her abilities are fire based. We also um, have, as well, the, the next one that we have is the Dwarf Ranger. Dwarf Ranger, from what I've seen of him, seems to be a mixture of melee um, and also ranged. And then after the dwarf, we have the Empire Soldier. The Empire Soldier, from you know, in game, I've mainly seen as a melee champion. I think he does have some ranged abilities, but he's mainly played as a melee champion. Um, I think he has a blunderbuss uh, as his second kind of, you know, his ranged weapon. Um, the fourth, um, you know, character that you can play is the Way Watcher. This is the champion that um, Casey played quite a lot of, um, and he had a lot of experience with this champion. It's, it's a ranged champion. And then finally we have the Witch Hunter, which is who I play quite a lot of, which is kind of a mixture of melee and ranged combat. Um, the game's combat style in general is a mixture of melee and ranged combat, with a major focus on playing cooperatively um, to defeat these hordes of rats, which I think is why it's called Vermintide. Um, it's very much a game you'd play with, sort of, I don't know, you know, sort of four friends, if you've got, you know, like, even two, you know, um, because, you know, you can get other people online who can join up with you. Um, so what I'll do is I'll start off the, the preview show with a brief intro trailer um, that you can watch, and then we'll move on to the discussion. Welcome to... well, we don't really have a name for this. Um, What's the Wonky? Well, it's the Wonky Gamer, but I suppose it's kind of not the normal Wonky Gamer video cast. It's like, uh, we've we've got a preview, basically, for um, Warhammer, the end times Vermintide. Um, so we've been really lucky to have a chance to actually play it early, uh, which has been really interesting. It's been definitely been an experience. Like, There's a couple of good things and a couple of bad things uh, we can probably say about it. Um, I'll just put this out there first as well. We were hoping to get some video footage, uh, but we've had a lot of issues in terms of actually recording while the game's running. Um, we are able to recover, like record other games, uh, like while we're playing them and stuff, but we don't seem to be able to do it with this one um, without it being incredibly laggy. Um, and we've also had issues with sound and things like that. But it is enclosed beta, so these things are kind of understandable. Um, so, you know, I've got some artwork and things like that to show you as we go along, and some in-game photos as well that uh, we've taken. Um, so, I suppose I will start off by asking Mr. Casey, uh, how did you find yes. the game? I thought it was... I think the core concept of it was good. It had, a, it had a good feel to it, like, it looked nice, and it was very detailed in how you can decapitate rats, which was interesting. Yeah, I quite enjoyed that. Um, it had a good amount of customization, uh, but it wasn't all given to you on a plate where you'd get bored of it. It sort of gave you the sense of wanting to actually, you know, do it yourself and build up to get the good stuff. Yeah. Um, I'd say it can get repetitive, 
Uh, but it might not be. I don't know. It depends if you're into that sort of game. I'm not really into that sort of game, so. Well, I think I think part of the difficulty as well to judge on the game is you get uh, access to like three, three levels of it, um, and it does have like an upgrade system. Like we can upgrade weapons and. You get XP and you level up and things, um, but it's quite hard to explore that with only that limited amount of kind of yeah, you know, like space. you just have to grind the same three levels. So. Mm. Obviously, like the full game, you'll have more levels. So it'll be better. I mean, what would you say is like your your what kind of things did you like? What were your favorite things about the game? Um. I'd say my favorite thing about it was the sheer like overwhelming factor that it can have. Yeah. Um, in like the hordes when they rally towards you, it's really good because a lot of games try to do it and they fail miserably. So. Yeah, I did find with the hordes like it was actually really, really overwhelming. At times. Yeah, but uh, it's good as well because they limit it based on the amount of people playing. Yeah, I think that's the thing. I mean, I think, I mean, I think one thing I really liked was the way that the characters actually um, were able to kind of they they kind of voiced things to each other. So like, if you die or like they need to save you or things like that, they'll make comments that are kind of um, yeah, you know, I don't know, sort of either taking the piss or kind of giving you an idea of what you need to do next, I suppose. And they put you into a direction as well, like they'll tell you where to go and where there's like health pots and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's pretty good. I think that's been really good. And they have jokes with each other as well, which is quite funny. Yeah, I mean, I like I quite liked that aspect of it. I thought it was really, really good. Um, yeah. I definitely thought it was a good aspect of it. I mean, I think... Um, I think one of the things um, that I really liked about it as well was um, the fact that they'd have like sort of mini bosses and things like that that would actually have quite a big impact uh, on the way the fight goes and things like that that made it all quite difficult or you know quite I don't know quite a hard thing to sort of deal with. Yeah. Um, I mean, you I mean you start off the game with um, you're in this little place. You can see it on the screen now. Um, it's like your home base. Um, and you use um, use this map, basically, um, which you know you can you you can sort of um, choose where your missions are and things like that. I'll see if I can quickly find a. I don't have it here. Um, yeah, but you you can use this map basically to uh, to select missions, um, and within the map you can you can sort of join up with your friends and all that kind of thing. Um, and you also, I mean, what did you think about the forge? I've got a little image of the forge here that I've just put. Of the what, sorry? The, the forge. Oh, right, yeah. I thought it was good. Like, I don't know, it's not that in-depth. Um, but I don't know the scale of the game to really comment on how that deep it should or could be. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of things. I mean, you had this kind of system where you could fuse five items you know, it says of the same rarity to forge a new one, so you get five kind of items and you make a new one. Um, I mean, it seems like when you have the full game, you're able to sort of access all these kind of things, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and it changes your attack and all these kind of things. Um, you know, and you can also upgrade an individual weapon and all these kind of things, really. Um, you know, so it's quite a... I don't know, it, it looks like it could be in-depth, um, so yeah, the forge seems like it could be quite in depth, I reckon, altogether. Um, so I suppose the things I liked from it were, I don't know, mainly the fact that, mainly the hordes. Um, the first playthrough we had, um, which we did try and record, but we we couldn't really get the video working for it. But uh, I wish I'd been able to show that actually, because, um, well, probably me more than Casey, but. There was a lot of screaming like a little girl at certain times. Um, just about the kind of, I don't know, just what was going on. Um, especially when there was this, this massive, massive creature at one point. Um, that absolutely just completely scares the crap out of you. Yeah, the big ogre. 
Yeah, he's absolutely frightening. And Hopefully always... they got more things like that though, because there was only really that ogre, like reappearing. Yeah, that was like the big one that reoccurred. Um, I mean, there was a couple of little things that I thought were really quite interesting. Uh, there's like little things that they didn't like. They weren't like a big deal. Like I, I don't know how much it is because like, the first time we played, we actually died a few times. We weren't very good. Um, and yeah, as we played it more, we adapted and worked everything out and actually found it quite quite straightforward and easy. But again, the first three levels, aren't they? So maybe that's why. Um, I mean, one one of the things was this. This you can see it here on the screen. That's um, there's like that rat because all the enemies are these rat things, um, which is why it's called vermin vermin tide, I suppose, because that's that's what they are. But um, you can see it here throwing this kind of poisony thing. Um, that basically, you know, it, it does uh, damage over time. I mean, I've managed to like get to the side here and escape. Um, was it? I think some of my comrades haven't. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's an interesting enemy as well. Um, we found, but um, I don't know. It's it's there's certainly aspects of a really good game somewhere in there. You know, I do really like the ideas behind it, um, and it's gory as hell. Isn't it really? Yeah, the decapitation's a bit insane. I mean, like this, this like how much just... you can do that? Yeah, I mean, it is absolutely just brutal. Um, and there are there are literally hordes of these guys, absolutely hordes. Um, you know, I mean, another enemy actually um, that you can see now is one that um, kind of grabs you and pins you to the floor and kind of is stabbing you. Uh, with these kind of weird claw-like glowy things. Um, you know, and, and, and that was one thing that I thought was really cool, um, was the fact that there would be certain problems with enemies, like, that you'd have to rely on your teammates to help you. So, like, if I, for example, in that picture, um, if I was getting pinned down, which I was in this in this picture, you know, at this time, I was completely pinned to the floor, um, there's nothing I could do personally. I had to wait for an ally to come and like help me out, to come and like pull me out of this problem, um, which was kind of cool. Like you know, you're reliant on these on these mechanics and these you know like your team to actually help you out, um, you know. And um, you know when you die, like in this current picture here, you know you're you're dead. Um, you need someone to kind of come up, come along, pick you up, and and save you. Um, so what would you say sort of your 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 kind of um, least favourable impressions I suppose that you would say about the game what things did you find like difficult um, do you think it can be improved before release because release is in October the 21st I think uh, what, what kind of things do you feel do need improvement um, and would improve your player experience um I don't know. I mean, the free, like, no, it's a pretty intensive game in regards to, like, what it requires of, like, your system. Um, like, it's quite, it can get quite laggy. Yeah. So, I mean, general performance, I'd say, would be, like, a good thing. But I don't know if it's, like, fully optimized yet or not. Mm. Um, I think optimization is, like, an issue that. I think sort of concerned both of us a little, mainly because of like the the release like the release date's quite soon. Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm wondering whether the problem that we had because it, it, we tried to video again today, but we didn't have as much luck. But it wasn't as laggy the video as it had been the day before. I mean, we were having sound problems yesterday where the sound was going like kind of crazy, um, and these kind of things. So I. I think some of it's connected to the servers. You know, they maybe didn't have enough servers to support the media that were covering it, or um, you know, I mean, it is a closed beta, so you do expect some of these things. Um, but we are in late September. You know, it's only three, about three weeks away. A little, a little under, well, a little over three weeks. Um, so whether it's an earlier build or or whatever, but there's there's quite a lot for them to do. I'd say in that amount of time. Yeah. If I'd if say. this is an early like if, if if this is a recent patch of the game, there's quite a bit for them to to clean up. Uh, I'd say in terms of just its optimization. 
Um, but I mean, in regards to like the game itself, I think the game is fine. Um, I've liked what I've played of it. Uh, it's a, it can be a bit repetitive, but I don't know whether or not they're gonna tune like different game modes into it and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I'm not too sh- I... like it does what it what it sets out to do well. I mean, you is know? it a game you'd pick up and you'd you know? I mean, f- for me personally, it's a it's game... a game. It's a game I'd play with a lot of other people. Like, it's very Left 4 Dead esque. Oh, I just need to say this picture is uh, of the big scary thing that scares the crap out of you and runs at you and just decimates everyone. Uh, just had to get that up there for a second just to show people what that was about. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say I'd say this game would definitely play with you know with friends, especially if it you know if it was if it was a little bit more optimized. Because I mean, that's the only problem I'd have is you know I mean I know me and Casey have probably got pretty okay computers. Compared to the average person, I would say. Um, I mean, at least mine mine's pretty good, and I was having problems, which I was surprised with. I didn't expect it would be a problem. Yeah. Um, but again, it's in beta, so you can't. It's quite it's quite unfair, I think, to fully judge the gamer's yeah. ability to run really well. I mean, you know, it is a closed beta. They're only showing you know the media to start off with and the public in I think tomorrow I think it is um, yeah some of the public, heard, yeah. Um, and it's still in testing so you know I can't can't really comment negatively about it you know we we got to play it we got we got to see like a couple of really good things in it as well um, and it did run okay I mean it's just there's aspects yeah. of it that I mean the sound issue was an absolute nightmare I mean I actually couldn't hear above this kind of really jarred, lag, lagging sound, you know, with everything kind of messing around, but it's what you expect, you know, yeah. I suppose. Um, I mean, you know, I think I think it looks quite good. I mean, I'd say it's not the most beautiful game I've played, um, but it definitely sets a scene. I mean, you can see in this, this photo, there's like um, just the, si- you know, what looks, you know, the kind of size of the, the place, and it's, you know, yeah. I mean, it's got a really fluid feel to the scenery. You know, like, that first one, you know, it, that is, which well, one I'm yeah. showing, it's, it's all vertical as well. You know, it's kind of almost like a vertical jungle. You kind of got this kind of, you know, up and down. Um, you know, here you're on the rooftops and things. I mean, it's yeah. it's just completely up and down. Um, it's still quite linear, isn't it? The pathways. It's not like yeah. an open world or anything like that, but it's kind of a quite cool in that sense so I don't know uh, would you recommend this to friends Casey uh, yeah I'd recommend it I'd recommend it for a group of friends I think I would I mean it's not really a game you'd, you'd play on your own is it you wouldn't you wouldn't sort of buy this and just I mean you could play it with random people but you know it's more something that I think would be a lot more fun uh, you know, yeah. with, with your friends and you know, getting to do things with with people you know. Yeah, well, like I said, it's very Left 4 Dead. Mm. It's definitely got that kind of vibe to it. Um, you know, and it is a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's one of those games I can't see myself getting overly involved in to the level of say, you know, a game like you know, for example, you with Eve Online or me with League of Legends or whatever we play. Yeah. I can't really see, you know, getting that into it because it's just not that type of game. It's a, it's a kind of, you know, probably invest 15 hours, maybe more, um, having some fun with some friends. Um, yeah, it's more like you know, when you got a group of friends together on like a weekend or something and you want a game to play. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, a LAN party or anything like that. It's kind of very much a kind of, you know, just sort of hanging out with some friends and, you know, just having a bit of a laugh, because it is a good laugh, you know, it's definitely, like, me and Casey had a really good laugh doing it. Um, you know, and it does have a levelling system, as you can see here. Um, again, you know, there's only so much we can explore with that, really, with, with, with the amount of access we have currently. Yeah. Um, I mean, there is a further test in a, in a, you know, I think, probably. I'm hoping. Um, we'll find out about that. So, may, you know, may, maybe there'll be a chance that we can sort of, you know, find out a bit more 
um, if we if we get that option. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, I mean, I think I think there's quite a lot, quite a lot to it, really. I mean, you know, for you know, for for a fifteen hour game, anyway, I think it's it's pretty good. Yeah, well, I mean, we don't know how many levels there are and stuff. Um, it's thirteen. I oh, well, all together. I think there's thirteen altogether, which. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's not too big then. I'd I'd say that's probably what about ten hours. Yeah. How much are they selling it for? I don't know. I'm not sure whether it's. Um, we should probably actually check this out a little bit more because I'm. I'm wondering whether it's. Um, whether it's um, a free to play or not, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, I, th I think. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, it's actually out on October the 23rd. Is when it comes out, and it will come out on Steam. Um, right. Okay. And it does cost money. I mean, it's. I mean, it seems to be. Sad. I mean, it's on. It's a ten percent discount at Steam at the moment. Um, and you know, it's going to be twenty pounds sixty nine if you pre-order it. I think. So, but on okay. you know, you know, I mean, normally it'd be twenty two pounds ninety nine. So it's not like a full kind of you know, sort of pay loads of money kind of um, yeah. kind of deal. I mean, that's fairly cheap for a computer game nowadays. Right, but I mean, if you look at Left 4 Dead and how, how, like, you know, how into Left 4 Dead you can get, it's... Yeah, I, I think I think it'll get a good following. I think it'll have, I mean, I think it will, I think it'll do very well. Um, I think it will have I mean, they'll, they'll probably bring out add-ons for it, I guess, but... Like, yeah, I think it's probably going to be. It may well be something that's kind of quite DLC based later, or later down the line. I guess a lot of it depends on how well it does as well. It may well, you know. I mean, I think it will do pretty well because I, I think it is a lot of fun. Um, and what it's setting out to do is, is good. You know, I mean, it is, it is literally getting hoarded to hell by a hell of a lot of rats that kind yeah. of just jump around and do different things. And hopefully, if they have a bit more. Um, variation to like enemies and stuff, um, you know, which I'm sure they do because we've only seen the first three levels. But I think it'll keep things interesting for at least a good fifteen hours. Yeah. And as you're saying, I'm sure there'll be quite a hardcore kind of core group of gamers that do enjoy it for longer than that. Um, yeah. I think for the casual, you know, it is. It's in a sense, it's quite a casual game because I think a lot of casual gamers will pick it up and have a good time. Um, but perhaps won't take it, you know, super seriously in the sense of wanting to play it for for a long, 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 long time. You know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think overall it's it's a pretty interesting, you know, pretty interesting game. I mean, I I would recommend it to people to to get. I think probably you know I think if it is a bit more optimized, I think it's worth checking out reviews as well before it comes out, just to give it just to make sure some of those things are ironed out. Um, you know, I mean, we might be able to do you one ourselves. Actually, we'll see. But um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, I think I think it's definitely probably worth worth a worth a buy because it is fairly cheap, f considering it's a you know, it is quite graphically nice and it's a good fifteen hour game. I'd say. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah. Mm. So I guess that was, you know, I guess that's the review really, or the preview even, because I don't, I don't think there's much more we can really say on it right now. Um, no. I mean, if anyone's got any questions, you're welcome to leave a leave a comment in the comments, um, you know, or or you know, send us an email or anything. I mean, if anyone else has played it um, or played the closed beta, um, you know, and and would like to come on and chat about it, then you know, we could definitely do another episode about the game um, to explore it a little bit further and also you know it'd be nice to get someone's opinion who's you know a fan of Warhammer because we're both coming into this as you know gamers but not Warhammer players so you know we don't know the law we don't know all these things do we so I'm not sure you know that there, there might be aspects of it that we're we're missing kind of story elements or things like I mean there isn't a trailer for the beginning of the game and there isn't really any story elements in the game but again whether they're things that will be in the game on release 
you know, there may be a lot more to it than we really are seeing right now. Yeah. I mean, as you said, there may well be, you know, different game modes and stuff. So, you know, the, I, th I think there's quite a potential for a variety of different things that could, you know, make the game a lot bigger than, uh, than it is right now. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching anyway. Um, I think that's the end of the show, so we will see you around. We shall, we shall. Indeed. Goodbye. And maybe get some footage of the game. Well, yeah, that is going to be something we need to... Well, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm going to put a trailer at the beginning of this to give you a bit of a... Um, a bit more of a visual idea of it. I mean, I've had a few photos and things, but... Um, if we can get some video footage, um, we will put it up. And we will have a couple more stabs at it uh, over the couple yeah. of days, just to try and... You know, it would just be a little let's play or whatever, but we'd like to show you something about it because, you know, I mean, I can show you images and we can talk about it, but I, uh, we'd give you more, really. We'd be able to give you more of an impression of the game from being able to see it. Um, but yeah, so I think we'll end there. Oh, um, and one last thing. Um, as we weren't able to get any footage of the game so far, um, I thought I would end the show uh, with some in-game footage uh, from the developers um, that we've got. So thanks for tuning in um, and have a wonderful rest of your day.